Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another excellent Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine video. Today I've got another great treat as we're going to be looking at one of my dad's models. This is the 1931 Cadillac V16 Town Brome. Another really awesome model kit from our good friends at Johan. This one came out in the 70s. So now without further ado, let's go down to our bench and take a look at this amazing model car. The Cadillac V16 was Cadillac's top of the line model from its January 1930 launch until 1940. The V16 powered car was a first in the United States, both extremely expensive and exclusive with every chassis being custom finished to order. Only 4,076 were constructed in its 11 year run, with the majority built in its debut year before the Great Depression took strong hold on Cadillac sales. The onset of World War II reduced the sales of the Cadillac V16, resulting in its demise in 1940. The Cadillac V16 was distinguished by its pioneering V16 engine a narrow 45 degree V angle overhead valve series 452 displacing 452 cubic inches. Upon its introduction the new car attracted rave reviews from the press and huge public attention. By June 1930 2,000 cars were produced. The Fleetwood catalog for the 1930 V16 included 10 basic body styles and some 30 different designers drawings. Orders dropped drastically due to the Great Depression for 1931, with only seven made in August and six in November, for a total of 13, but for the year 750 of these wonderful Cadillacs were made. The engine is the amazing 452 cubic inch displacement Cadillac V16, and the transmission is the three-speed synchromesh manual. The wheelbase for a Cadillac is 148 inches on the real car, or 5.92 inches in 125th scale, which I do believe Johan got accurate. The overall length of the 1931 Cadillac Brome is 222.5 inches, and in 125th scale that equals 8.90 inches. The width of the car in the real world is 73.6 inches, or 2.94 in 125th scale. The height of the car is 72.5 inches in the real world and 2.9 inches in 125th scale. The curb weight of our 1931 Cadillac V16 Town Brome is between 5,300 and 6,600 pounds. The classic 1931 Cadillac V16 Town Brome was introduced by Joe Han in 1965 and came out again in the mid-70s. No further releases of the model kit have been made since. Other cars in the series include these box tops. All the bodies were designed by Fleetwood for the 1931 Cadillac Johan series. The original model kit was part of the Gold Cup series. The kits include over 160 parts. They have steerable front wheels. They're molded in 125th scale. It is an all plastic assembly, exact scale model. So that's the exact scale. And it's molded in various colors like the black fenders and the red body. This is the exclusive frame pack showing how each plastic tree interlocks and fits inside the box. Now my dad built this Cadillac back in the mid 1970s, early 80s, and he did it in the old way where you didn't paint the plastic, you just left it molded in the color. However, he did paint in here with the wood colored paint and the roof has got flat black from testers. You can see the nice pinstripe along the front that he painted on here. The wheels are red plastic, the fenders are black plastic, and then we've got our chrome hubcaps. Dad decided to paint these blue, although they should actually be a maroon color on the real car, but I think he did that in order to contrast against the red. Again, a really nice model. You can remove this section up here to make it more like those chauffeur-driven cars back in the day where if it rained, the poor chauffeur would get wet. The hood is also removable. 
in order to display that nice Cadillac V16 motor. Now dad did paint the motor blue and I was looking up on the internet that these are actually aluminum, painted aluminum, not real aluminum. I think the hood ornament got broken off as did the rear view mirror that's mounted on the other spare tire. But overall this model kit has held up really well over the past and has never really been in an accident unlike the 1931 Cadillac Phaeton. Here is the instruction sheet showing the assembly of our amazing Cadillac 452 cubic inch V16 engine with the three speed synchromesh manual transmission. Here we have the passenger side of the engine where you can see the intake and exhaust manifold and the updraft carburetor as well as all the drive mechanism in underneath here and our fan. And here we have the driver's side of the engine compartment and again it's almost like a mirror image. You can see the intake and exhaust manifold with the updraft carburetor and these tanks in the back as well as our distributor. Now this is a little hard to film because all we get is that little open area, but here we have our instrument panel with the chrome, our steering wheel, our floor pedals, and the carpet. Here's our upholstery from this angle, and again Dad did paint the seat and the inner door panels. Now here, as best as I can show you through the side window, you can see that Dad did paint the seat in the back and the nice wicker down below using Tester's wood color. Again, he did a really nice job. You can see the inner door panels are also painted, but that's about all I can really give you. Here we have our Johan 1931 Cadillac V16 Town Brome from underneath. Once again, Dad did paint the springs with the tan leather to represent the covers that went on these springs that were filled with grease and oil. Here we have our rear differential with the mechanical brakes going into the brake drums, radius rods, and the torque tube up the center. There's our starter motor and our manual transmission, as well as the gigantic chrome-plated oil pan, which looks really beautiful. And here we can also see our steering, and the wheels also rotate around on their axles. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that look at my father's 1931 Cadillac Town Brome V16 from Johan. Again, another great model kit from a model kit legend and a classic with this awesome removable chauffeur's top. So again, if I was to put a figure in here, it would look really, really cool with the chauffeur in the car. Now, what I want to do is I want to open up a model car museum that showcases both my model cars and my dad's in all these great, amazing settings. And if you would like to help that effort for as little as $3 a month, which is really not much money at all, just click that join button down below and you can help us in that wonderful effort. Now, if you would like to get your own model car kits, check out what we have available. There might even be some new ones at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Go down on the left hand side and you'll see a little thing that says plastic model kits. Click that and that will take you to our model kit page where I have everything nicely organized. Like if you want American Motors, you don't have to search through everything. There's a little button that says American Motors and it's actually an icon to picture so you can't miss it. There's one for Ford, one for GM, everything. It's really wonderful and very easy to use. We can ship model kits anywhere around the world, including our good friends down in the United States, because I know that we've got the Canadian US border and a lot of people are really confused with mailing packages across that. It's only a line on a map. It's pretty easy. So we can do it. We use Canada Post, which is secure and trusted throughout the world. So once again, thank you everybody for joining in in this great video and seeing my dad's collection of model cars, as well as my own in this series. And if you really like these videos, don't forget to click that thumbs up button because that'll really, really help us out. So until next time, everybody, enjoy your models, have fun with them, and happy model building.